Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another NASCAR diecast review. Today we'll take a look at the Steve Park 2003 Pennzoil 124 scale by Action Racing Collectibles. And I picked mine up for my friends over at CircleBDieCast.com. Link to their website will be in the video description below. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's go and take a quick look at the packaging. It comes in your standard 2003 Action Racing Collectibles shoebox style packaging with slip sleeve. On the top of the slip sleeve, we do have the Dale Earnhardt Legacy Stripe, Steve Park, Action Racing Collectibles, still the choice of champions, 124 scale stock car, limited edition adult collectible, an image in the background of the real car, number one, Steve Park, and Dale Earnhardt Inc. On the side, the artwork pretty much continues to the side, just different orientation of logos. To the end of the box here, we have 124 scale stock car, 2003, the barcode, action branding, and the production sticker that says Steve Park, number one, Pennzoil. 2003 Monte Carlo, total production of 6,300, with 504 of that being limited to General Motors dealers. On to the side here, once again, the artwork continues. On this end, you can find more action branding with legal information on the bottom of the slip sleeve. Removing the slip sleeve, you'll have your generic 2003 art box with action branding. Got the Daytona International Speedway there, with more little images of more race cars down below. 2003 124 scale stock car limited edition doll collectible and once again the art box it's pretty much the same we've got uh, more images on this side the ends of it we've already been through so that is your art box for 2003 action nascar die cast let's go ahead and remove the car take a closer detailed look at it all right here we go starting off on the hood we have pins oil. of course the red chevy bow tie silver painted details for your hood pins got the number one on the right headlight Nothing on the left headlight. We do have metal grills, top and bottom there. Monte Carlo between the grills. Silver detail for your valence fasteners, and the valence is done in black to match the livery of the car. Move on to the quarter of the front bumper. We have Moog, Cleobite, of course, Edelbrock, Comp Cams, Wix, and 76 Fuel. Goodyear in black over the front tires, which do have functioning steering, and I believe, yes, it connects to the steering wheel. You can see it moving inside the car. Got silver details for your five lug nuts. Got the yellow lip around the aero race wheel. Looks fantastic. Got NASCAR Winston Cup Series, Bud Pole Award, Mechanic Wear, Goodyear Belts and Hoses, JE, EA Sports, and more for your contingencies. Got the number one on the door. And of course, we got the black legacy stripe done in black, outlined in red, which forms an E on the left side, which looks fantastic. Down below on the side skirt, we have silver painted details for your fasteners. Exhaust sticking out the bottom right there. Of course, Nella wafers and snap on. Pins oil going down the side of the car. Miller welders and Napa on the quarter panel. Silver painted details for your quarter window fastener. On the B post, we have Champion, Coca-Cola, Shaw Williams, and Cincinnati. We do have a rubber vinyl uh, side window net. Of course, we got DEI and Steve Park all up on the roof rail. Got the Legacy Stripe continuing up onto the roof with the number one. Molded in roof flaps. Once again, 2003, they did not do functioning roof flaps or serial numbers in the rear windows. Those, I believe, were 2005 and 2006. Nothing on the deck lid except for silver details for your fasteners. Inside the trunk, we do have your red fuel cell. All the plumbing and everything for that looks fantastic. Silver painted details for your uh, spoiler braces. Move along to the TV panel, we have Pennzoil Chevrolet. Number one on the right tail light. nothing on the left tail light. We do actually have molded in little catch can port there. So that looks pretty cool that they actually molded that in. It's not every day you see that, especially nowadays. They don't even have the catch can man on the cars. Right side of the car, it's pretty much the same, except for the legacy stripe is now a three on the right side, so that looks fantastic. Silver details for your fasteners on the side windows. Got full containment car and fiber seat. Gauge details you can see in silver. Ignition boxes down there on the floor. Moving along back to the front. Here you go. It's the same on both sides. Let's go ahead and open up the hood, take a closer detailed look at it. There's your engine detail looking fantastic. We have pins oil on the underside of the hood. You can see we do actually have suspension like shocks on the inside of the front tires. Chevrolet on the valve covers. Got radiator right here. All the belts and all that cool detail. Looks fantastic. Underside of the car, all die cast metal with working steering. You can see the steering linkages work. Bottom of the motor, exhaust, the black truck arms going down here. Of course, drive shaft details, including like the drive shaft loop. Got the shocks and everything on the back. Of course, right here is where the fuel cell sits in. Does have like a vinyl rubber kind of tires. They're different kind of rubber they used on the uh, tires in 2003 compared to today's die cast. Each tire does have the stickers on the bottom right there and right there. 
And right there, so these are fresh sticker tires for Steve Park's 2003 Pennzoil Monte Carlo produced by Action Racing Collectibles. Once again, I picked mine up for my friends over at circuitdiecast.com. Link to their website will be in the video description below. You can find me on social media at JasonAStrain69, so check me out there. You, if you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. So yeah, see you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.